It's better. How's that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to or back to Mel KB Vlogs. <laughs> If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and check out my other videos. Um, I've been loving making stuff for you guys. I'm trying to stay hydrated, so I'm going to drink water as I make this video. Um, so today's video is all about working on a cruise ship, specifically performing on a cruise ship. I worked for both Carnival Cruise Line and Norwegian Cruise Line. So I'm going to spill all the tea. I'm going to tell you guys everything. Uh, I also am thinking about doing a part two to this video. If you guys have specific questions, I would love to um, gather all of your questions about cruise ship life and I can do a part two to that. But I just kind of wanted to give like the basic overview first of all of this because it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Feeling like really nostalgic for my cruise ship life. Um, and to be honest, it's like, there really were parts of it that were absolutely wonderful and parts of it that were absolutely horrendous. Um, I don't know, but I feel like with everything, there's always good and bad, but with working on a cruise line, it really is very up and down with your emotions. So I'm going to dive right in and give you all the tea. So... I guess starting off with like just what it's like for any crew member. On both Carnival and Norwegian, as a performer, I got to have my own room. Um, on Carnival, it was actually a bit bigger. It was a pretty good sized room. It was, it was a room that was meant for two people, but I got it to myself. And then Norwegian, it was like literally a little shoe box. If I have the video, I'll insert it now. are just super super tiny um you live in like these tiny little hallways kind of like <laughs> in titanic when you see like them running through the halls of all the cabins like it's so small carnival all of the performers lived within this one hallway which was pretty fun because i could just like literally open my door and like yell to one of my friends like louise and she would probably hear me and come out um and then, so that was fun in, in its own way. It was kind of like college. <laughs> um, but then on Norwegian, we all were kind of like scattered throughout the ship. Like nobody was near where my room was. I was on deck two, um, which is very low. <laughs> and I think most of my cast was on deck three. Um, but yeah, we were like truly scattered all throughout, which also was kind of fun because you were able to get more privacy. You know, somebody had to go through a lot of effort to come to your room to like give you a knock. Um, yeah. So what else? Um, there are people from all over the world working on the ships. You will meet people from almost every country, which is pretty cool. Usually the only Americans are the performers and a lot of times the entertainment staff that help out the cruise director and then um, any of the youth staff, the people who do like the kids clubs on the ship, a lot of time those people are Americans or British, Australian, um, Irish, like all of that. Um, but yeah, there's literally, I know people from all over the world now which is really really cool and um, it's very nice to be in an environment where Americans aren't like the main nationality it's just it's nice it's very nice especially yeah just being an American or even where uh, English isn't 
necessarily the main language. Every crew member does speak English, but when you're in the crew mess or hanging out, um, you know, you hear every language going on, which is cool. So it really depends um, kind of week to week or day to day what your life is like. Basically, you just, you're on the ship. If it's a port day, you usually, if you want to wake up early and get out, you can get off the ship and go do something fun in the port that you're in. And then um, if you have a show that night, you'll come back. Usually you, you're not out that long. I want to say four to five hours is how long you end up being out there. And then you come back and um, you get ready for the show. And then on Norwegian, we always had a tech run before the show. Um, so we would like have to run through the show market and then we would do the show at night. Um, and then on carnival, we just got to come back, get ready, do the show. Um, so that was pretty cool. I will say like my expectation going into it, I was like, oh, I'm working on a cruise ship. spend the whole day at the beach and oh my show's at 8 p.m great i'll get back on the ship at 6 put my makeup on and do the show um and that's really not what it was like i had a lot less time out in port and a lot of times you couldn't go like as far as you wanted to to like a specific resort or something um because you had to be back a lot earlier and the crew has to be on earlier than the passengers. So it just depends on what time all aboard is. Um, but yeah, it was a lot less time out at the ports than I expected. But once I got used to that and on Carnival, I really understood. So by the time I got to Norwegian, I, I knew what I was getting into. Um, but you just have to be, uh, proactive like if you really want to spend a day out at Atlantis um, in the Bahamas then you're gonna get off the ship when you can at 8 a.m. and spend as much time as you can out there and get back in time um, you really just it's all about like soaking up every minute <laughs> if you can um, and then when your ship is out at sea and you don't have a port day um, it was very different for uh, Norwegian versus Carnival. On Carnival, my sea day was like a busy work day where um, I had to do like extra duties. Like I had to lead a parade around the ship. I had to like assist the entertainment staff. Um, we had to do a puppet show for the kids, like very uh, just different jobs that weren't necessarily performing. Um, I remember we had to do like, we had to go and have like tea time with guests to like, I don't know, schmooze. Um, and then on Norwegian, my sea days were chill as heck. Like basically I could just do whatever I wanted. Um, normally I would get up really early before a lot of the guests were up for breakfast and I would go to the top deck and I would get breakfast. Um, it was really, really great. And then um, I would just hang out with my friends. A lot of times on sea days, specifically on Norwegian, my friends and I love to go to the atrium and we would just get some coffees and chill, maybe read a book, talk to guests. Um, we loved our friends who worked at the coffee shop, Michelle and Baru. They're the sweetest people. We love to like visit them and just kind of like keep them busy while they were working on a sea day because a sea day is so busy for them. So. Yeah, we love to visit them. Um, that was really fun and just nice and relaxing. Or a lot of times I would go on like the outer decks, um, the promenade, and I would, uh, if there were seats available, I would just like grab a seat and read a book or something. Um, on sea days for both cruise lines, we weren't allowed to go up to like the decks and um, sunbathe or anything because sea days, like every guest is on board. So you couldn't take up their time. Um, on Carnival, 
the the yeah on carnival the performers were allowed to swim in the pool and hang out there but on norwegian we weren't allowed to swim in the pool um it's so weird just like the different rules also on carnival we all had it was a cast of eight and we were given specific times that we were allowed to eat in the guest areas so you had to like budget your time like you were only given an hour like two to three o'clock you could have lunch in the guest area if you wanted the good food um so you had to kind of figure that out but on norwegian this was like my favorite thing i was do you hear that dog barking what is happening i don't know what's happening um on norwegian i was a yellow card so there are different ranks of crew members so most crew members are a white card which means you have the base privileges you have the base privileges for a crew member and then a yellow card is one step up so a lot of officers um it's kind of officer status really a yellow card so on norwegian they we were cast of 14 and there were the singers the dancers and then the singer dancers i was a singer dancer so the singer dancers and the singers had a yellow card and the dancers had white cards which i think is bull that is so dumb when we are all doing the same job and you're going to give the dancers less when actually the dancers are working so much harder like 10 out of 10 the dancers are busting their butts so much harder and actually they need more fuel than a singer because the singers are burning 200 calories a show while the dancers are burning a thousand calories a show so that's a whole other thing that i could just like truly make a video about um just the injustices between the singers and dancers on cruise ships in general it's not just norwegian um it's really the cruise ship industry entertainment wide um, that that's just a thing it's been a thing since cruise ship performers started and it is 2021 it's about time we realize that dancers are worth a lot more that's the end of that spiel um so anyway on Norwegian I was really lucky I was able to go up whenever I wanted um it's always you let the guests go first so um you know if I was in line for the buffet and then a big line of people ended up behind me technically I was supposed to go around to the back get back in line um but I did a little trick where I usually would just like start a conversation with the person next to me in line and then I would just go through the line with them and become their friend and actually I feel like you know the hotel director or the cruise director would appreciate that you know making friends making them feel special <laughs> um yeah so on Norwegian I feel like I ate pretty well um it was called the garden where we went up to get food and they had really good options I feel like um carnival that was four years ago or five years ago now so it's hard for me to remember specific on carnival I had to eat in the crew mess for most of my meals like that's generally where I would eat and it was horrible and Norwegian's crew mess looked the same as Carnival. Um, it's usually just leftovers from the night before, like whatever the guests ate that night, we would get the leftovers. And it was just like mushy and salty and weird. Um, ugh. Yeah, I was like scarred from my Carnival experience of having to eat. For, at one point with Carnival, I literally started eating chocolate cake before a show because i couldn't stomach the other food but i knew i needed some sort of calories to get me through so i straight up would have a piece of chocolate cake and then i would have like a real dinner after the show up on deck um when we were allowed up crazy um but yeah norwegian i think i ate in the crew mess maybe five times which is a blessing um it was not like that for the dancers so i still feel so bad that you know they were treated so differently but yeah i avoided that crew mess on that norwegian contract and i ate pretty good the shows on cruise ships are really interesting it depends on what ship you're on what cruise line you're on um norwegian and royal both have royal caribbean 
Uh, they both have full-on Broadway shows. A lot of times they're set by the creative teams of the Broadway shows. Um, and then there's the classic cruise ship shows, which is what I did on both Carnival and Norwegian. Honestly, I think they're fun as heck. I can maybe insert some like quick clips here. Here's some Carnival ones. Norwegian ones. Pretty fun. They're not like, if you're a musical theater person, they're not fulfilling like a musical could be. Um, you know, you're not necessarily telling a story or the show doesn't necessarily have like a specific point to it it's really just pure entertainment which i think for seven months is fine and it can be really fun like i honestly i enjoyed the shows i was doing i do remember at one point though kind of towards middle to end of my norwegian contract i was like all right i i need to be telling stories like i got to that point um and now i know like moving forward i'm kind of done with that but for a time in my life, it was good, it was fun. Um, but yeah, I definitely got to a point where I was like, why, what am I doing? Like, what is the purpose of me being on stage? I wanna tell a story, you know, I'm seeing my friends in these gorgeous, beautiful musicals that are life-changing and emotional, and I was getting really jealous. Um, but I, that was just something I learned about myself as an artist, is I feel the most fulfilled when I'm working on a show that, makes people feel something emotionally or makes people think. Um, however, that doesn't mean that cruise ship shows are pointless because really they're, um, you know, there's these families that maybe saved up for a year to come on this cruise and they are just having the time of their lives and maybe your show is gonna be that one thing that they really remember and they talk about for years to come or it inspires a little kid, it's the first show they're seeing, you're seeing somebody dance and they're like, I wanna do that. Or, you know, you're just, uh, it, that pure entertainment of taking people away from their lives and letting them live in a fun new world. And that's what those shows do do, which I love. Um, what else? I'm gonna get into like the culture of cruise ship life. So. This is like the real tea. I remember on my first ship, I was truly shocked. So, um, I just graduated college, I'm chilling on the ship, um, and there was this cute Italian officer, which on Carnival, it's like the thing, that the officers are Italian. And um, he was super nice, and he started like asking me if he could buy me drinks in the crew bar. And I was like, you know what? Sure. I was entertaining the idea. My cast members are like, Ooh, yeah, like he's cute. So let him buy me drinks, whatever. And then one day he like very nicely was like, I would love to take you out for lunch one day when we're in port. And I was like, you know what? That could be fun. So I said yes. And then he added me on Facebook that night and I look and he was engaged like straight up had on his Facebook that he was engaged. So I tell my castmates, I'm like, oh my God, that guy is engaged. And they're like, yes, so. And I was like, excuse me, what? And they're like, that's, that's what happens on cruise ships. Like most of the officers, like they're married or engaged, but like their wives know or their fiancés know. And like, yeah, they could have their ship girlfriend. I'm like, what? ship girlfriend i just like that made me feel sick like that's just gross but my castmates on that ship have been working for 10 years on cruise ships and they were just so used to that and i was like no 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 no. so i messaged him and i was like hey i see you have a fiance like i'm not interested anymore and he was like oh no it's okay she knows you could be my ship girlfriend and i was like no no that's not i'm not into that so then of course he just like moved on to the next person. 
Um, but yeah, that shocked me. So people will straight up be like married or be engaged and have full on like committed ship girlfriends or boyfriends. Insane. But I guess like when you're away that long, I don't know, maybe it's two different lives. I don't get it. I never was a part of that. Um, it's weird. <laughs> um, also the other like culture thing that I just was not a fan of on the ships was, um, specifically on carnival. I feel like I didn't experience this too much on Norwegian, but maybe by that point I was good at ignoring it. I'm not sure. But, um, on carnival, it was kind of like a customary thing that you know, the performers had to be very nice to everybody and you had to say hello to everybody that you passed in the crew area and all of that. And um, the officers kind of um, thought like you were, they, they expected you to be very nice to them. So they were all over us in the crew bar. They would sit front row of our show almost every night, like the same show, sit front row. Um, and just watch us, which was so weird and uncomfortable. And I remember one time I got a talking to because um, the officers said that I wasn't smiling at them in the in the hall. And you know, just weird. I'm like, no, no. Just because you're an officer doesn't mean I have to be nice to you or entertain your little fantasies. So that was bullshit. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Sorry, this is dying. I think that's like. Kind of everything i don't know um i think i'll leave it i'll leave it there for part one um go ahead and comment below any specific questions you have um i can talk more about the shows like what it was like when it was rocky how we danced when the ship was moving um any other questions you have about cruise ships comment below um, I also might post on my Instagram for people to ask me questions, so check there too, at Mel KB. Um, yeah, so I hope this video was interesting and, you know, gave you some info that you didn't know before. Um, yeah, have a good week, everybody. I love you guys so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, everything. Share this video if you like it, and I'll talk to you guys next time.